Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 29th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. Check out some of the fog out there. We're getting a bit of a break from the weather in the short term, but don't get used to it because we have some more active weather rolling into the region. And we're going to take a look at all those details as we go through the video here this morning. If you want a nice affordable home weather station for your house or wherever you live, check this one out. Click on the link down below to save 10% off. I test two of these stations and they do quite well. I highly recommend it. Now, uh, San Francisco, you can see we've got some interesting advisories out there. Cold weather, coastal flood advisory, wind advisory, frost advisory. And we got some dense fog out there as well. But that is going to be coming to an end over the next few days. We also have some strong offshore winds across ports of Southern California. If you're down there, you know about this. And you can see some of these gusts getting up over 55 miles per hour. This was updated yesterday, but these winds are going to be with us here for the next few days also. They will be weakening, though, however, as we go on into the midweek period as some active systems start to roll back into the area and San Diego calling attention to the potential for some stronger gusts there as well. Also, that was updated very early this morning. So Phoenix National Weather Service, which does cover portions of Arizona, is talking about this wet start to the new year. It may even get here on New Year's Eve and it may be raining here as we switch on into the new year. So heads up for that. And I'll show you the latest on that here more in a moment. Also, Las Vegas talking about the return of some precipitation chances as we go as well. Now, you can see we bumped up the snowpack across a lot of the state. We're still below normal, but again, we're going to be getting some additional amounts coming in here as we go on into the early portion of the new year. Reservoirs are good right now, and I'll show you some precipitation anomalies later on in the video. So this cold air, see this down here at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet? That was from the last trough. It's still down there bobbing and weaving and doing its thing, and eventually it's going to kick back north towards the state of California, and that's going to bring some renewed precipitation chances, and then you can see we've got a brand new trough approaching the coastline. That's going to kick some frontal system activity through the region as well. And then yeah, another one after that as we go on in towards next weekend and potentially keeping a very active pattern here for the state of California. And if we look at this same height there at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, there go the winds. And if I put that into motion there also you can kind of see that spinning and then moving up towards california and then look at that next trough swooping in here and bringing additional precipitation the active weather is going to return to the state of california as we go on in through this upcoming weekend look at that trough established out across the pacific ocean now this is something interesting if you look at these black lines that's sea level pressure the colors are the temperatures at about eighteen thousand feet kind of in the mid levels of the atmosphere gives us a good idea what is going on above us and and you can see that low pressure center there forming and moving north here as we go on in through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That's our next round of precipitation, the colder air aloft. But then look at this next trough, a brand new one swinging in towards the coast of, of you know, West Coast of North America. And then check out this low approaching the coastline as we go on in through Friday night and on into Saturday. So yeah, some pretty potent systems potentially as we go through the next week or so. Now, in the meantime, of course, we're dealing with the offshore winds. These are 80 meter wind speeds. And I'll put this in a motion. You can see how we're still dealing with the strong winds as we go through this morning. We go through the afternoon hours, still getting some decent winds here. You can see the northeast component, especially in the gaps and the canyons coming across some of the desert areas as well. You can see we got some northeast winds all the way across the Sierra Nevada, even out coming across some of the coastal range, the Bay Area and down towards Monterey Bay as well. And that's going to be with us as we go through the day Tuesday, although they do start to weaken by Tuesday afternoon for the most part as the next system starts to arrive. We still have some of that easterly component all the way through portions of the day Wednesday before that next system comes up from the south. Now, 10 meter max wind gusts, I'll scroll through here pretty quick and kind of see the peak wind gusts. And then you can see some of these gusty southerlies coming from the next system. Now, precipitation, when will it return? Well, let's check the timeline here. We go on in towards New Year's Eve and you can see by the time we get towards the afternoon we're starting to bring precipitation across a lot of the state let's see what happens in afternoon and evening and nighttime that's about when we're ringing in the new year check out las vegas some of western arizona los angeles san diego up towards the bay area sacramento a lot of the state of california could be ringing in the new year here with some precipitation across the area and some snow across the higher terrain and you can see that continues on into new year's day Coming across the region, we get a little bit of a break there on the second. Next frontal system starts rolling in there, and that one might pack a punch as well. You can kind of see this deep low off the northern California coast, bringing some renewed mountain snow. And yeah, it looks like we're going to remain active. And I got to remind you, there's another system after that one that'll be pushing our way. 
Now, lightning flash density potential. Let's see if we have any lightning potential as we go on in through New Year's Day. There it is right there. I mean, if that speeds up by a little bit, you could even get some lightning flashes out there as we ring in the new year. You don't even need fireworks, right? But we'll see how that goes. And then you can see the next frontal system comes in. There could have some lightning associated with it as well as we go through the January 3rd time period. So a little bit of a look at the extended forecast, a wider view of things. White Islands at the bottom left. There's the state of California. There's that cold air I talked about. Again, producing some pretty good precipitation rates out there over the open ocean. And then that pushes northbound towards California. Again, keeping precipitation going. Next frontal system comes rolling in as we go through Friday night into Saturday. Additional systems coming after that. Look at this. My goodness, a lot of precipitation yet again, targeting the state of California over the next week or two. And yeah, so lots to watch here. And we'll continue to monitor this as we go by day by day and look at total precipitation. I'm going to scroll through this fairly quickly because we're just kind of looking at model confidence. And you can see the ensembles on the right, good agreement that much of the state of California is going to get additional rainfall and the control run there on the left also in very good agreement. So yeah, active period coming up. Now, something interesting here, if we take a look at the water year, October 1st is when that starts. We're dealing with some areas with much above normal, but still it's a little bit deceptive here. With some Northern California, I think we'd be above normal since the water year, but it was just kind of surprised to see this. Some areas a little bit below normal. If we go towards January 1st, actually a bit more surprising because we have some areas that are below normal. In fact, a lot of the state has been below normal since January 1st. So welcome this precipitation in here and let's get back up to normal and uh it's not going to help much for the calendar year of 2025 but again as we go into the early portion of the new year we'll be getting that precipitation rolling in and sadly to report we did have a death an avalanche death so do take that into account if you're going off across the higher train be very careful you can see he was only 30 years old sad to see it we had another uh, a worker i believe die at the, uh, the same place last year also so again take this very seriously when you see avalanche concerns in our higher terrain six to ten day above normal across the west coast and there's the six to ten day precipitation climate prediction center is all over that bullseye right on the state of california and there's the eight to fourteen day and kind of a broad brush there as well so check out the patreon page if you like hopefully you guys are having a good day and i will catch you guys in tomorrow's forecast